Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, this is uh, Jun Seok Hwang, the chair of GSDB, Green Smart Development Vision. And uh, this is the 10th uh, symposia. Uh, especially we opened this one as a digital symposia this year. And uh, today uh, we are starting our, the, our global session. Especially once, uh, what's important this year is actually because of pandemic, we would not be able to you know, invite many people overseas. So instead, we are you know, opening Zoom and YouTube uh, the session. And so and as a real time and interactive, uh, and also it's a 24 hours a day. So you know, on the YouTube channel and YouTube and, uh, that, that we provide, uh, you would be able to watch additional uh, sessions after this one until next morning and so and also next day also another 12 hours long session will be going on here in seoul korea first of all uh, i'm very happy and also honored to have a collaborative workshop uh, uh, and roundtable with uh, african uh, scholars especially on the subject of passet and also rc um, uh, we have been actually have a collaborating uh, more than six months for the Hello, you know, yes. for the second cohort, oh, yeah. and we are in the uh, kind of uh, as Seoul National University actually has uh, ready to receive in the five sector, as probably Dr. You know Roberts and Skilton actually will mention, and I'm very glad that you know we'll have a further discussion. I uh, and also especially this uh, session is actually for the also our SNU and also our GSDB community to aware of the opportunity to collaborate with uh, uh, RC uh, and also the PASET in Africa. So uh, I hope also African friend to see you know what kind of potential in a uh, cooperation you can do with Seoul National University and GSA, GSDB conference later and I hope we find you know, further opportunity for further collaboration. So uh, the mic over to you, Dr. Um, Robert uh, Skilton. And Dr. Robert Skilton is uh, the head uh, of the Capacity Building and Institutional Development Program and Interest Center of Insect and Psychology and Ecology. And uh, he is actually head of this RC Regional Coordinator Unit in Africa. So uh, Dr. Skilton, uh, it's uh, over to you and for your, uh, for your speech and panelists. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Wang, and we uh, greatly appreciate this opportunity to be part um, of this session on, on uh, the development for, for future. Uh, so uh, we, we just we do very much appreciate this. Uh, we appreciate our partnership with you, and we look forward to working with you very strongly over the coming years uh, with regard to students and the Regional Scholarship and Innovation Fund. Uh, let me uh, just share my uh, screen. Um, let me know if you can uh, can see this. Yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, so. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm Rob Skilton. I'm head of capacity building and institutional development at ICIPE. Um, I'm part of the team, uh, the coordination unit uh, for the for the RSIF, uh, uh, and I'm I'm joined by some of my colleagues from the regional coordination unit for RSIF as well. Um, I can see Bonface Niaga is here, but I expect there's some other um, members of the the team as well. Um, so let me just put the RSIF into context. Um, the, the challenge for Africa is, is that uh, Af Africa has 13.4% of the, the world's population, but uh, it only has uh, 92 researchers per million of inhabitants, uh, which is about 10 times less than the global average. Um, hello, uh, can I ask um, everyone uh, to turn off your microphones, please. Yes, please. Could you turn off your microphones? 
Thank you. Um, so, um, and only about 1.4% of the global output of scientific publications are, are from um, Africa. Um, and the, this is partly due to, to, to the low investment in research and development and um, uh, only about 0.4% uh, of GDP is spent on research and development in Africa. Uh, whereas it, it, in some countries it can be um, as much as 4%. Um, sorry, I'm just having a problem. Um, ah, here we are. Thank you. Uh, so the RSIF was set up by uh, PASET, which is the Partnership for Skills and Applied Sciences, Engineering and Technology. As it, this was established by African governments uh, and it was launched in 2013. And it was set up to, to, to really develop a regional approach to building um, scientific and technical capacity uh, that complements regional um, and, and, and uh, uh, country specific initiatives. The, so, as I said, the Regional Scholarship and Innovation Fund is a, a, a flagship project uh, of PASSET. Uh, it was set up in, in 2015 with the objectives of training uh, researchers in research, uh, in, uh, in research, uh, scientific research and engineering fields. It's to, to build the, the research and innovation capacity at, at selected universities across sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, and it's to undertake research that will generate uh, transformative technologies for Africa's economic development. The fund is, uh, has three components or three windows. Uh, the first uh, provides uh, PhD grants to African students it also supports the building of the capacities of selected African universities. And it's also there to help develop partnerships and networks between those universities, uh, the students and faculty, uh, and uh, other uh, institutions and universities and even the private sector within Africa and globally. The fund in the second window provides research grants uh, to, to students and, and faculty at the selected universities. Uh, it also provides in the third window innovation grants and also grants to help create an innovation environments at the selected universities and these are available to, um, to students and faculty. Uh, the RSIF is, is designed in a way to, to ensure sustainability. So we are currently just about to set up a permanent fund. This is an endowment fund, uh, the proceeds from which will go into a general fund to support the three windows that I spoke about just now. Um, at the moment, uh, the permanent fund, um, we, we don't have uh, any funds in the permanent fund. It's just being established now. Uh, and then we'll be seeking funding from philanthropy, governments and other organizations um, uh, for, for the endowment. Uh, at, at the moment, all our funds are in the general fund, which is supporting windows one to three. The funding uh, has uh, come back, come come from the, the World Bank and the, the Korean government, uh, and they have provided six-year grants of 15 million and nine million, respectively. So we um, we we like to thank the the people of Korea and the Korean government for supporting the R RSIF through this generous grant. The Korean grant is is supporting scholarships for students and also research grants uh, for these selected African universities. We've received uh, contributions from Rwanda, Kenya, Burkina Faso, Ghana and Se Senegal and Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, and a number of other governments uh, have pledged funding as well. And we expect the funding to grow to more than 65 million uh, within the next three years. The RSIF uh, works on five particular thematic areas. These are very broad areas, uh, but they are, are, they're on ICTs, food security, uh, minerals, mining, materials, engineering, energy, including renewables, 
and uh, climate change. So the uh, all of our students and our research and innovation projects are, are within these five thematic areas. Uh, we have uh, already some PhD students that have been uh, awarded RSIF grants. Uh, from the first intake, uh, we had 15 students. That was 2018. In 2020, um, this year, we brought on board another 67 students. Uh, and we're currently uh, selecting students for the third intake. Uh, and we're expected to select more than 100 students uh, in uh, early 2021. For the first and second in intakes, the students have come from 17 countries across sub-Saharan Africa. So you can see that this program is actually having impact across much of sub-Saharan Africa. We have the, the RSIF is implemented through selected African universities. These we call African host universities. So there are 11 at the moment in, in seven uh, countries in in East and, and West Africa. We're in the process of selecting another, uh, um, um, sorry, that should be four, uh, 15. We should have 15 universities in 2021. So we're currently in the process of selecting another uh, four universities. Um, and after the selection, we will then have three universities that we're working with in each of the five thematic areas. We work very closely with inter our international uh, partners. So our students, uh, their PhD program is designed as a sandwich uh, PhD program where the students originally, they start their program at um, their selected university. Uh, and then after about a year or so, then they can go to one of our international partner institutes or universities uh, for a strategic research placement to continue their PhD research. And this sandwich placement can be for anything from six to 24 months. Uh, we, 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 um, we have international partners uh, in Korea. We have uh, uh, GRC and GBST at uh, Seoul National University, um, uh, KIST, uh, Cricket and 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 Kia. Uh, we have um, we have two uh, international partners in the U.S. WPI Worcester Polytechnic Institute and Virginia Tech. Um, in uh, in Europe, uh, we have University of Greenwich in the U.K., Maastricht University in the Netherlands, Ghent University in Belgium. Belgium and Karlsruhe Institute for Technology in uh, in Germany. Uh, in Africa, um, we have University of Mohammed VI Polytechnic in, in Morocco and the International Livestock Research Institute in, in Kenya. Uh, we currently have, from our first intake of students, we have six students uh, at uh, KIST uh, and six of our students at WPI in the USA. Uh, the universities uh, that we're working with in Africa, as I said, there's currently 11, but we're expanding that to 15. Um, they're in uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Nigeria, Ghana, Ivory Coast, and, and Senegal. Uh, um, so we currently have two universities uh, on that were selected for work on ICTs, uh, two on minerals, mining, and materials engineering, uh, two on food security and agribusiness, two on energy, um, sorry, three, th uh, sorry, three on min minerals, mining and materials, um, two on um, energy, including renewables, and two on, on climate uh, change. Um, and, and then just to, uh, finally, um, this is a, a number of our students from the first in, intake. Um, this, this picture was taken in Rwanda when we had a, a meeting with the students and uh, we did some, some training with the students and they presented a num their scientific posters uh, to a PASET forum. Um, and here's a picture of uh, two of our students who arrived in, uh, at KIST um, late last year. Uh, and um, uh, by all accounts, the students uh, are working extremely hard at KIST, uh, and the, the professors there are very happy with their with their progress. 
Uh, I'd like to acknowledge all the donors that are directly providing financial support to uh, ISIPI. Um, ISIPI is the regional coordination uh, unit for the RSIF. So uh, thank you, um, thank you very much. Uh, and I can now uh, hand back to Professor Wang. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> thank you, uh, Dr. Robert Skilton, uh, for very kind uh, introduction about RCIP. Uh, we also greatly appreciate your contribution and service to promote the scholarship and higher education, uh, the quality uh, improvement in Africa. Uh, we all respect uh, you and your team uh, to have a certain service for our global uh, uh, community. We greatly appreciate that, and we are also, again, very honored you know, to cooperate with you, and we'll do our best on our um, also further collaboration with uh, PASET and also cohort RC PASET program at uh, the second, so which is uh, expected to do start uh, next year. So, well, uh, then uh, I will do a little bit of uh, introduction about GRC and our uh, also the, the, the professional and PhD and master, you know, the training program. So um, can we have our, my uh, presentation? Okay, well, um, <clears throat> as this was uh, announced before, I'd like to talk about future of higher education in science technology and I think our, the program I'm uh, actually running is called International Technology Professional Program, which actually have such kind of mission to improve our higher education reform, especially in the area of innovation of science and technology. I've been a director of this program for the last 17 years since I joined uh, Seoul National University. And it started at the beginning as a focus on IT, but it expanded now into generally all about science and technology, uh, the discipline, especially. We, uh, the reason is we see the transdiscipline education is very important for the better impact of higher education to the society. And that's why, and I will show you some of the reform that we have done. Uh, we recently designated as a national center you know, to do global RNDB. So Seoul National University Global RNDB Center, you know, called RGRC, is nationally renowned acknowledged center and funded. And this one also, you know, promotes us to do, uh, you know, capacity building in worldwide, uh, especially, you know, uh, uh, growing the global leader, especially for the fourth industrial revolution, what we say. So, um, <clears throat> It's actually not moving. Uh, okay, oh well, uh, as I mentioned to you, we started in 2009 and also 2006, also another you know, very renowned uh, 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 institution called KAIST, Korea Advanced Institute of Science Technology, also started a similar program with us in 2006. And now in GGGSDB, we actually you know, also running and also keeping our community together. Um, next, please. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, um, we, we are uh, probably designated to do uh, sort of, uh, especially for mostly in the beginning for um, de developing countries. And this is actually as of last year's result, we have you know, f total 43 country students from you know, uh, you know, all around the world, and then actually, uh, our SNU actually give a fellow, or uh, especially scholarship fellow, 127 people, and also KAIST also gave uh, a scholarship to the 53 and 160, uh, you know, fellows so far, and now uh, we are also doing further, you know, and also we are continuing for the next, you know, six years, you know, by the support and guarantee of Korean government. Ministry of uh, Science, Technology, and ICT. Next, please. And this is actually a picture about you know some of the country you now we are keeping together. Uh, we uh, no, we uh, can't see anything. 
we uh, uh, try not we to don't only decide. educate, but also we, we try to actually do the practice of what we learn as a global, human, a global professional network. And we actually have an annual conference, annual visit, and also, you know, create the, some project we can do together. And so now we, we, we call our pro, uh, you know, group called GII, Global Innovation Network. And, and also we have a website that promotes and, uh, the, the, all our you know, cooperation opportunity. Next, please. And so this one shows you know, how we have been growing. And currently, our, uh, you know, we, we believe in Korean society, we already started you know, fourth industrial revolution since, let's say, you know, when a World Economic Forum state about the fourth, uh, you know, fourth industrial revolution in 1916. So I think you know, 1916 or 1917, around the time, we also have a sort of the you know vision reform, and to sub to provide uh, you know global uh, global platform where we can do co cooperation for the global innovation, what we so call global innovation 4.0, and then uh, uh, we also focus on not only the R and D for the academic purposes and technology education, but the commercialization practice and business uh, are also very important you know, to uh, lead and uh, pioneer the you know, further economy and further innovation of science technology. And also in addition to the technological component study, we believe also for the better transformation, the policy and business and social aspects are very important and our you know, fellows actually receive certain education in very transdisciplinary way, you know, to make their science and technology capability to be pre well practiced, uh, you know, in the meantime, you know, with the knowledge and experience they have and by the cooperation of uh, industry and government. And also we are also having an, a global regional hub in Africa uh, and also uh, Latin America and also the Europe and uh, and also Asia and and Middle East and also so we actually you know keep those uh, uh, the regional hub to be the place where we can do it together. Oh, uh, slide gone now. So the slide is gone. Can you turn on the slide again? Sorry about the the people. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, sorry about uh, slide. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, just a second. Uh, we have some technical problem of the Zoom, and they are just some change. So, uh, just a moment. Uh, just it'll take just ten seconds or twenty seconds. Okay, well, I think this is another slide showing. Uh, so, uh, uh, well, uh, 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 so for, in order for us to do you know, such kind of research and also Global Innovation Forum Forum at GSDB, which we are in the 2020 now, and so we actually do, and we are doing to, gonna do it together. I'd like to invite also the RCIF uh, to do our further you know, collaboration next year so that we can have a more research exchange and research you know, the presentation together. Next, please. And this is actually the workshop we have done and conference and the history. And so uh, I, well, um, I think uh, I'm missing some uh, point. Uh, uh, to, can you go back to the slide back? I think you, you missed one slide, which I was planning to do. The, another one before? Okay, so, uh, well, uh, okay, so I think this is the one showing that how we actually you know, have a very effective and transformative education uh, for the digital transformation that as a professional. We have domains of the expertise, you know, where this, the, 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 our fellows can choose, and we assign them into very interdisciplinary and the faculty member to do that. 
but also in order to, in order for, to, for us to have a very effective method, educational methodology and practice, we not only you know, give a theoretical background and information and but using online and flipped learning and also industry academia in you know, a project collaboration, the students really you know, do the real stuff you know, while they are doing you know, their research, you know, master and PhD. Uh, so far, we also have, for that reason, uh, our professors are not only the professor from the academia, only, you know, very, you know, professional and also very uh, high level, you know, experienced leaders, or, you know, from various sectors actually coming and teaching together. This one will really make our, you know, student education system very strong. I believe this is very important model, you know, to build you know, transdisciplinary education. Recently, we actually studied one track of the major on transdisciplinary uh, graduate education uh, and research program called Smart City Global Conversions. I'd like to, uh, there, you know, we studied also uh, the, the IT and data and AI, but it also energy and also the policy and the international relationship. At the same time, also farming and environmental science and also agri agriculture and the security and things like that. Next. Um, so um, I think uh, we are uh, uh, also, you know, uh, uh, doing extension project and research building and now uh, the conference of I mean is our new campus. We have a fourth, uh, so what we so-called smart campus, fourth industrial revolution campus, which actually allow us to, uh, you know, have a much more effective collaboration with the, 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 the company and also student has a capability also to do a startup and also some very pioneer research work together with, uh, with the industry. And so, and also the industry, what I mean is not only the Korean company, but also global, uh, you know, cooperation. We have a very close relationship not only with the you know, World Bank and GCF, and also the you know UN Park and many other you know the international organization, and also we, our you know Korean company who are you know cooperating with our students are also in global presence, and so that will actually you know, give a very great benefit. And I'd like to actually you know give this kind of environment to our SIP fellows you know when they are coming their PhD, and they will get similar benefit you know like this one, you know when they're coming. This is the actually the, the uh, so half of the, uh, the um, uh, uh, not the one third of the campus already built. Uh, uh, I cannot point there, but uh, you know the one on the on the bottom side is the C area. So our original campus, what we so call green campus, is in the valley of Guanax Mountain. But this one is blue campus. It is confronting our West Sea, and so we have a very blue, you know, and also very open view to the ocean and so the, in the front plan we are planning to build a, you know in a, a global innovation tower you know representing the landmark of global innovation and currently I'm in the educational cooperation building which is another smart building in this campus in this campus we have also drone institute and also autonomous vehicle institute and smart shipping institute and also smart uh, uh, the hospital, the, the largest hospital in Korea will be built here, and also practicing not only the traditional uh, medicine, but also platform medicine, and also uh, very smart medicine will be practiced and researched. And so this is really you know, one of the you know, new creation of new campus, which we believe you know, we will be you know, realizing real practice of fourth industrial revolution as a kind of frontier to show the, you know, the three years ahead as a frontier and realize in time. And so that our, not only the science and technology, the philosophy, education, and trust level, and also our value system, we want to actually have that and also culture, you know, 30 years ahead of, you know, what for, you know, for our next generation. So that's our vision and forward-looking vision, and so I really look, look forward to actually uh, the inviting uh, the, 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 the RCF friends because our new campus, it will be like a science park and also like a, like a very open community. And so um, I'll uh, show, give you a little bit more. Uh, 
And so uh, this is a little bit. I'll, I'll send you some uh, so this slide, uh, you can see. So especially when I'm expecting a partnership with LALSIB and Seoul National University, uh, because you have a research, not only the scholarship program, but also research, you know, the, 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 the grants and other, you know, exchange program, I'd like to invite also many of the scholars from Africa to collaborate with us in many of the, you know, projects in Korea and your, your country. At the same time, also postdoc and other in you know, exchange, so that the, the, the very you know, talented scholars from Africa and RCIP really can have experience of you know, uh, not only collaborate with the, with the people of Korean, and we have a very you know, talented people from all around the world. So this will be the melting pot, and uh, you know, this is the one small world where you can meet all the people all around the world. So this is really global campus, and you can expect. And also the, our university as the one of the university which has the most of the discipline in all the universities. And so, especially our college of engineering and natural science are one of the strongest in Asia and also covering all the domains of you know, science, technology, education. Okay, uh, I think uh, that's it. Uh, so is there any, uh, next please, maybe Q&A. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, Dr. Roberts uh, Skilton, this is from my side of our orientation and some of the information about our program at Seoul National University and what I'm also expecting as a further, as a partnership with RC. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Dr. Skelton, you and I am given uh, as a kind of Q&A from the audience, and also we, you and I can. So, probably also in our side, our you know people may also you know ask uh, some questions to you, and also probably from especially some people from Africa, also some of the people from Zoom. Uh, you know, may uh, ask questions uh, to you and me, and then uh, we, we are probably. Thank you. Very happy to take questions. So we are opening uh, anyone to uh, maybe if you have any questions about uh, probably our partnership or any opportunity. To... Then maybe before the audience uh, actually warming up their idea and so um, uh, uh, just giving a little bit of information about between uh, 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 the RCIP, uh, the, the unit, uh, coordination unit uh, by the leadership of Dr. Robert Skilton and also myself from our side and uh, uh, we actually already exchanged uh, some of the area where we can actually uh, join uh, the cohort PhD scholarship program sandwich program, where in a first year, when in a first year was finished by the African House University, and we are expected to do some kind of online interview. And currently, in our center, we have a five faculty member representing five areas that. Uh, Dr. Robert Skilt has mentioned, and we are ready to actually, you know, and to talk to the host university advisor first, you know, so that you know, they can have us understand the situation, what we have, and also as a follow-up, also, you know, for those students who, rec who actually applied and will be interviewed, you know, so by both the host university advisor and, our, you know, also our you know, representing a advisor from outside. So that's our plan. Robert, do you, can, you, may, can you have uh, some expectation? When would be the timeline of these, all these, you know, in the, the communication between advisor and also some interview for the new coming court students? Yes, we'd like to set these up uh, for November. Um, so in the coming weeks, we would like to have these um, these uh, virtual meetings uh, between the advisors, the students, the advisors at the African University, the students who are at the African universities, and the potential advisors um, in, in Korea, um, just to, to start talking about the project, 
uh, to discuss a possible work plan and timing as well. Uh, also to talk about um, any admission requirements uh, that the student might need to meet. Um, um, so if there is a, an official interview uh, or if um, uh, English uh, uh, English is a is a criteria. Then, uh, should they have some documentation to show that they are um, proficient in English? So, all of these things um, can be discussed during these um, meetings between advisors and students. And hopefully, we can have um, all of these done within November. And then, we'd like to see the students uh, start um, anytime from um, early to mid next year. Is probably uh is is probably the uh the time when students are, are be a, able to come to korea to to start this sandwich program um this is cohort two that we're talking about the students that joined this year of course we are uh, recruiting uh again we're in the re recruitment process now for cohort three uh, these students will start early next year there will be uh, uh, more than 100 students and so again we'll, we'll be distributing um, lists of these students and their research interests um, uh, to yourselves at GRC and um, other Korean um, partners and other partners around the world uh, to provisionally select students that they might be interested in in hosting for a sandwich um, strategic sandwich research placement. Uh, and we hope that this will continue year on year, that, that this is not a a short-term pr uh, project. Our RSIF is being developed to be sustainable, very long-term. Um, so we would very much like to see um, students coming to, to Korea where there are excellent research facilities, uh, um, where, where it, there, there's world-class expertise to be able to support the students um, uh, from, from Africa. So year on year, we would like to see a number of students uh, come to Korea and uh, and um, with time to really develop very, very strong partnerships between the African universities in the RSIF and the Korean um, uh, institutes. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Skilden. Uh, uh, definitely, when I'm, we, we already have assigned MOU and also when we are actually talking and also uh, have a serious discussion with World Bank, uh, especially when I was in DC, uh, the main issue was uh, sustainability. So not only just one or two times, but you know, long-term commitment, you know, more than five years, or as long as you know, process exists, you know, committed to do together, like a real university, you know. And so, uh, so because uh, uh, this is, uh, even though it's a sandwich program, we we will have them like our students, same thing, you know, they're like our having degree, you know. If your your home the home institution not in the you know in the list of the passet and that they are losing their home. So we don't want to, you know, in that kind of cases. And so we were, that's why I committed to do, you know, this will be, you know, 10 year or, you know, the forever. And so uh, I already officialized all these things within the university. And also we are expecting to actually also further, you know, scaling up, you know, for the joint degree program and other additional also, you know, standalone degree program or new degree program, you know, together online and things like that. So that's open for discussion after we, you know, started this, you know, sandwich program. But be, again, you know, we are very honored uh, to start this one. And hopefully also in addition to that, hopefully some of the African, you know, talented, uh, the African professors, you know, district professors actually coming and to Korea and also giving us uh, some uh, some 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 classes also at the same time not only the education the research opportunity for the Korean student especially it's just some very area that African University has in a great cases and also very strong and yes, I have actual question I, I'm very actively I've been actually you know there are two country I've been very actively working on uh, one is uh, Nigeria, and the other one is Ethiopia. I know you have also coast organization university in Nigeria, right? And also, but uh, I don't know whether your RC uh, you know, has a member in Ethiopia, uh, Addis Ababa Science Tech or Adama Science Tech University. Uh, do you have any any hosting university? Uh, because we have been actually finding also good 
the students or the, the professors you know, from those countries, I don't know whether it's covered by this, uh, by, you know, your reason or not. Uh, so uh, currently we don't have um, a, an African host university in Ethiopia, uh, but we are in the process of selecting uh, four more universities um, in, in Africa to join RSIF. Uh, we, we do know that some of the universities in, in Ethiopia are strong uh, and we expect to receive some applications from Ethiopia. So there is a chance that a university in Ethiopia will be selected, but I can't... Uh, yeah. There are uh, only two, two science, science technology universities. Ne two, only two national science technology universities in Ethiopia. By the by the under the higher education, uh, the ministry science and tech. So, uh, the, the, uh, you know, the, both of them are good. Uh, I cannot say who are which one is better. But you know, uh, the, uh, one of them should be the one of the you know that one or both of them. But I think uh, I can have a discussion with you further. But I think EUP also have a very strong yes. commitment and science technology promotion and their leadership, especially in Africa, African Union, and also their also leadership from the government, stabilization actually allows this size technology innovation getting better, better. So having collaboration, you know, you and with Kenya and other, you know, the, the current members really will have a great benefit also collaborating with Ethiopia. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, the, the, for, for the students, uh, students can come from any country in, in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, uh, and of course, uh, Ethiopia, uh, there, there's always a lot of very, very good students um, in, in Ethiopia. Um, just to add, add to something you were saying just now about uh, this collaboration between uh, your, your university and African host universities, um, the possibility for exchange uh, between faculty, we would re very much like to see this. Uh, there are other areas where uh, your, your university and other international partners can collaborate and that's through collaboration on, on research and I innovation projects. So, so where a university applies and gets one of the RSIF grants for that, uh, they can link up with uh, international partners uh, to support them in those projects. Uh, we, are, we are creating networks as well between the African universities um, and uh, international partners. They don't have to be official RSIF partners. They can be um, other partners, um, uh, other institutions in Africa as well. So to build up strategic networks of, of, of partnerships uh, that can then apply for funding and develop projects and innovation projects, research projects uh, between themselves. So creation of partnerships is a key part of what we're trying to do with the PASET um, um, RSIF. So to create these partnerships to, to um, not just to work on RSIF supported projects, but projects that are funded by other sources as well. Definitely, uh, we have a, uh, so uh, we have also similar mission as a GRC, and we have been exchanging with our partner and creating some new network. You know, we have a sub name called going, G-O-I-N-G, going, going, it's going, and so we are going. Uh, it's a global open innovation network and groups. Uh, it's also in academia and also public institution, but pursuing open innovation together and through the partnership. We believe, you know, the, the humanity issues and, you know, and global community are facing some of the challenges, which we really need to cooperate together. And, and we already you know, reached the singularity point you know, where each of us to, to can do by ourselves, you know, uh, as an individual country or community and organization. But those excellent best doing in a country and nations and center, you know, we try to get together. So I hope, uh, Robert, you know, you, uh, you know, to, I'd like to give an invitation, extend invitation to you and also your partner. Hopefully we can unite, you know, them, especially from Africa, and then let them to be together in this going, so we can do going together. <laughs> and I heard actually there are actually some panel and some questions from the Zoom. So let me ask the step to open the questions. So 
Can you open up the questions? Okay, so there are some uh, questions from the audience. Uh, for us who are in Korea, is it possible to arrange a visit to this smart city? So that is, that is uh, maybe this is our, our audience from our G GSTV Congress. Uh, definitely, if, you know, in Korea, we have uh, many smart city projects and initiatives going on. Uh, there are some examples of advancement, you know, the student can see. So we are expecting to arrange some visit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, but this is, uh, but I'm, uh, we are, you know, probably uh, encouraging audience to give uh, uh, some questions, especially for the the uh, kind of, uh, let's say, uh, collaboration with RC and also GRC, uh, you know, or you know, the opportunity for the for the collaboration, you know, among us through the scholarship and also research exchange. So uh, no, Noel is from the first cohort. He's at KIST at the moment. Maybe. So yeah. He, yeah. He, he's he yeah. So he's he's at KIST. So he's asking um, if he could come and visit sure. your. Um, yeah. Your smart city, yes. The, your campus, yes. Uh, um, uh, from the Zoom on, or from the RCIP member, uh, Robert, have you? Uh, did you had any chance to probably see their either you know questions or their you know they have some any. Um, and le let me just ask if there's any from anyone from RS uh, IF uh, University. So any of our students, any of the faculty or coordinators at the African host universities, if you have any questions, just just type them in uh, on Zoom. I think the Zoom is probably the easiest one to work. With. Um, thank you. I, th I think there's a question. I think this might be a question for you, for you, Professor Huang, um, from uh, Sammy Florent Palm. Uh, please, I would like to know if you are working on smart systems for the efficient management of solar photovoltaic systems connected to the electricity grid. Thank so you. it's about the smart energy system, right? As uh, solar and also ESS. Definitely, I'm working on the data smart tech part, but also we are also energy experts and professors. So not only me, we have actually, you know, the group of the people who are working together on this one. This is one of the very important research topic in Korea. And also, this is also very important for many of the African you know, the, 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 the researchers is in this regard in energy systems, definitely, yeah. And also there are some scholarship opportunity for that one too. In addition to the innovation in the global, you know, we also have a upcoming possible uh, in opportunity on energy professional program. So, you know, renewable energy, uh, you know, and some other, you know, advanced energy system, uh, you know, our, we, we we, we ITPP and this IEPP are promoting each other. At the same time, I'll promote RCIP to many of you know African friends and our partners, so that they can also you know have a great collaboration with RCIP, you know. And so, uh, as your friend, I will I will also promote you to you know all of our friends. Um, thank you. And if you if you do have uh, at your university scholarship opportunities that you would like us to disseminate across Africa, we have very big sure. networks. Definitely, definitely. You know, so uh, yeah. uh, always you know, Africa is part of our scholarship in you know, our domain, and so definitely there's no discrimination over you know which country, which over. You know, we are we now actually have a people with a vision, excellency, but who can contribute. Uh, for the development and prosperity of Africa and also global society, definitely I will, you know, give or you know share uh, the, the the opportunity, upcoming opportunity with you. And so, and the question from is a question from the audience. Uh, I don't know. They summarize it. So, expectation of the development of F so uh, just a second. So, um, Uh, so, 
that institute will have to develop Oh well, <laughs> so uh, some students, uh, I'll see Eric, uh, Eric actually. So he is expecting, you know, what is our vision about the potential development of Africa. Definitely Africa is actually one of the most important, you know, promise for the human race. Uh, well, in many of the cases, we, we believe that development Africa with, uh, you know, recent industrial revolution, industrial economy or capitalism have been late. But late is not necessarily the bad things. Uh, always, uh, you know, uh, you also get learning and also you have opportunity and, uh, to really have a breakthrough things to start from the beginning. So um, uh, I found, you know, the people uh, to uh, probably try to develop something in the very uh, uh, early stage about which would not be sustained, or you know, you build early, get the benefit, but later on, you cannot destroy that at all. And so, but uh, in uh, many of the lessons we have in develop, uh, in especially in Africa, uh, especially natural disaster, and also many of the still challenges we have, are the opportunity for the research, are the opportunity for the better prosperity. Uh, uh, that's the why the professional, the professors and researchers really need to work together and to solve this problem. This is not the problem of Africa. This is a problem of global humanity. And then we need to work together you know, for the survivability and sustainability. So Africa represents the problem of global humanity as you can see in you know, COVID and all these things. And so this is all because of the imbalance of the system we have. The biological system, natural system, economic system, all these in belt made it through in you know, all these things. Uh, but we have a chance to, you know, to the, 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 the improve and change it by our cooperation. I found a very talented African, you know, the, 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 the professional who are my advisee and who are currently a daily leader. I see great, great, you know, the potential and development. So, but we need to uh, be united and also work together and select the mission and working together. That's why we need some kind of, you know, community of practice together. RCIF and also IOITP and GRC and going are the community of practice for the better world. And Africa is very important part of the pioneer. Yeah. Maybe I, be, I believe, you know, Robert agree on me and you can add something, you know, on those questions. Uh, uh, yes, I mean, the, 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 the main aim of, of ARSIF is to, is, is to develop the skills and the capacities in, in, in Africa to develop transformative te technologies. So it, it, it is, the, the research outputs should have an impact upon the economies of countries in, in Africa. And I think the African governments recognize the importance of research and development. And that's why more and more governments are now uh, putting in funds into, into RSIF. And the difference between RSIF and some of previous uh, pro programs for research and development is this, is this is taking a regional approach and a global approach. So it's, it's what, can the, what can the continent do together and with strategic partners across, across the world? But as I say, in the end, it's to develop transformative technologies. And I think uh, Professor Huang and GRC, uh, are the, their, their aim is to develop transformative technologies as, as well. We have actually, uh, both Rob and I have the same theory of the, you know, global innovation system and national innovation system and regional innovation needs to need be synchronized together. What do you mean? Synchronized by what? Who? Human capacity building. The humans are one that are working on the region and nation and the global. And so the African uh, the profession and leader need to be kept to be the global leader and also national leader and also your regional leader. That's why we need this kind of scholarship. Yeah. Uh, the second one, or some another question, and are you having the thematic area of climate change, especially ecological modeling in plants? Definitely yes. Uh, so I'm running this smart city global convergence program. Definitely environmental scientists and ecology and landscape and also ecological 
uh, agriculture, you know, professor, you know, working on climate change, and GCF, a uh, global, uh, you know, green climate fund, is our very strong part partner on this regard. And we have a partnership with CTCN, Climate Technology Center and Networks. And definitely, you know, climate issues are very important. And we really, you know, uh, really want to work very hard also with African University and RC, you know, also, you know, doing research together and education together. Uh, Robert, would you like to add a little bit on these questions about climate change opportunity from your side of the thematic area? Yeah, well, yes, of course. Well, we do have students that, are, uh, that join the climate change thematic area at the universities. But if, if I could just say that if you are a, a RSIF student um, uh, and you've joined us here, you're hearing some very interesting things about GRC. Uh, and if you haven't yet been provisionally linked up or matched with a university for your sandwich program, but you, if you think that GRC is, is offering some areas that are of great interest to you, um, contact me uh, and Bonface, um, say what it is your interest is, and then we can link you up with Professor Huang and GRC to see if there is an opportunity for you to be matched. So we have actually uh, two minutes given. Uh, so I'll take a uh, you know, very s uh, strategic plan to promote industry uptake of future research output in host country. Definitely, industry you know, uptake is very important for the science technology. So for that regard, we not only do education, but we also do the consulting, how the university can do you know, science, science park building and also create center of excellencies. And these are through our student you know, relationships. So once we have you know, some you know, uh, student who educated and go there, and then we create the vision to build in such kind of thing, and we have additional fund from you know, some of the EDCF, Okoika and the World Bank, and to create your science technology up Take, where you know many of the industry uptake can take place and we'll bring the some also company to work with you in and with us to on the r d project that's it and robots are probably already have many of experience in in africa in that regard robots so once again our rsif is is very keen to see there's uh, uptake of, of any research outputs so that's why we have grants to help build, improve innovation environments at the universities. Uh, but also for our innovation grants, the universities must link up with, um, uh, with the private sector uh, to, to help with the dissemination and the promotion of any technologies that are developed. Um, uh, of course, then the, 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 the links that, we, that the RSIF students and universities get through our international partners are also um, critical in this regard. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I have actually one last very important remark from our co consultant and coordinator, Ms. Hyun Kim, and whom Robert and I know, and she's been doing an excellent job actually in creating a bridge between SNU GRC and also RCIP. And I greatly appreciate she want me to actually uh, you know, see my experience, our impact of science, technology, education, uh, you know, by the experience of GRC and also SNU. Definitely, uh, science technology is not only the domain for the national, you know, competitiveness or better prosperity. Uh, science technology is the one that actually the, the, the humanity as, uh, you know, philosophy and our value system can be improved by science technology. And science technology replaces many of the law. Uh, science technology replaces many of the social values that we are having. And science technology also changes who are the role of doing public interest, not only the government, also NGOs and schools and also company. And that's why, you know, we need to have a leader of science technology who are not only responsible of just engineering and machine, who are responsible of the society and our humanity. I think I witnessed you know, many of our RC fellows and also our GRC fellows already working with that vision. I believe really can make some changes impact by strengthening our science technology you know, education and research together. I'm very honored and happy and to see you, uh, Robert uh, Skilton, who have been actually serving to Africa you know, for a long time of his life. And uh, we all know, we all witness your, your great heart and also your team. 
uh, I'm very too happy to join you and hope you join us also to, for the global going. Thank you, and thank you everyone. Thank you, Robert, and look forward to seeing you again in November. And I hope all of you have a great day and great evening. Thank you very much, Professor you, Wang. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for attending. And thank you, Hayon, for helping organize. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See, See you soon. Bye.